glad you mentioned. At best, the floating highway across Elliott Bay is still not the total answer. The enormous traffic load on the choke of Seattle uh, needs more than that. And now, I'm told, while it's quite a brand new idea, there may be a viable option in going under Lake Washington from Renton to Bothell with a tunnel 18 miles long. Please explain that for me. You bet. Well, uh, when I realized that this board tunnel was not going out of I-5 and into, back into I-5, I speculated that, well... The, the yeah. waterfront tunnel now. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah the waterfront yeah. two-mile-long tunnel. I said, well, where would they do it? And then I got to looking at the map, and sure enough, I came across the conclusion that it would be possible to come up with Highway 167, as you know, the Valley Freeway, right. go under to the bridge, and then you'd be on Rainier Avenue. Okay, and of course, 167, you know, you turn right and go up to Bellevue, and you know, on 405, or you turn left, and you go to... Um, um, I-5. Okay, so why not go straight ahead and go one more mile on, uh, on uh, Rainier Avenue, then go underwater, uh, that would be at the, around the town of Bryn Mawr, you know, in Renton, and then go underwater for 18 miles straight as a die, right up to uh, the suburb of Bothell, Sheridan Heights. And there you'll see on the map uh, Highway number 104 that's already been improved. And so here you go. You've got a straight shot route for a way of taking traffic through the Puget Sound area. Key word, through traffic. Yes, that's through traffic. Now this is really a potential answer because much of the crush going through the Seattle chokehold there is through traffic that has no other option. Uh, they want to go to Canada, they want to go to California, but they've got a squish through Seattle, if they had the option of a straight pipe, pardon the pun, uh, an enormous load would be taken off I-5, <clears throat> excuse me, and the other north-south thoroughfares, and suddenly we can breathe again. There really is some long-term wisdom in this thing, despite the rather unique concept, 18 miles underwater, Technologically, is it possible? Oh, yeah. We could do the channel, you know, under the English Channel, which is 50 kilometers. Uh, and, of course, back east, they have a lot of, of uh, tunnels here and there that are that long. Uh, the, the technology of a board tunnel two miles long is the same technology as keeping going for 18 miles, unless you run into really unusual uh, Something unusual. So the geology and everything yeah, lends itself. That's right. Okay. Now, actually, uh, uh, the the uh, only thing about the bore, the board tunnel under the lake is, would you run into any of the problems associated with uh, the what was Metro, now King County sewer uh, tunnels that run under there? I already contacted them, and there is no problem. Uh, the only appurtenance that they have is the, uh, at the north end, up there by uh, Sheridan Heights, uh, there's uh, what they call a Kenmore Interceptor, which is a pipe that either you'd have to go over it or come up with some other joint engineering solution. Uh, that and so that's, uh, that's a very easy, very, uh, I can't think of anything else mm -hmm. that would be in. So the, the plans and the specifications and the estimate uh, of this tunnel is just really simple. You don't have elaborate sets of engineering plans to make. You just get down there with a transit or a theodolite and go straight for 18 miles. And not wrestle a great lot of right of way. No right of way to buy. Uh, what's the timeline on this? Mr. I would claim that it could be built uh, in six years. Now, you contrast that to things like I worked on the Seattle freeway plans in 1961. It was 20 years before it was done. Look at the, what happened when, you, when they improved I-90 across Mercer Island. The mm -hmm. Mercer Island folks kept that in the courts for 12 to 13 years. You know, and so 
this, there isn't going to be too many people. Even the fish aren't going to be concerned because you're underneath them. Now, because it is taking through traffic, there's no on ramps, off ramps in the middle of the tunnel, and essentially a straight pipe north and south through Seattle, that really becomes an interstate highway, exactly. becomes a part of that kind of system. Does that kind of fall on Uncle Sam to worry about the tab for it? Well, I'm kind of hoping that, uh, that it would be called, let's say, I-205. Okay, as a matter of fact, there is a 205 in Portland. Yes. And so that's a bypass. So here you go. The, I, the 405 bypass is no longer a bypass. You've got all that development oh. and, and uh, you know, of high-rise office buildings in Bellevue. You've got Microsoft. You've got all that over there. And so uh, I would say that it's I-205. Uh, you know, I'll put the words in the mouth of the Federal Highway Administration for fun. But and, that uh, then becomes their baby. Yeah, well, yes, it would be. There is a brand new division I got off the Internet that says that the Federal Highway Administration has developed another branch that's trying to figure out, which this really doesn't, but trying to figure out ways to get people off of I, local traffic off I-5. And that takes me back, if I may, to the floating bridge for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, as I was saying, uh, I'd like to return back to the local traffic situation a little bit. The, the tunnel takes the through traffic we just discussed. But you need the other one, too, which is the floating bridge. And going back to that, I'd like to point out how the local traffic situation is helped by the floating bridge. And we start out with Elliott Bay. I mean, excuse me, yeah, in Elliott Bay. Okay, now we start out with Harbor Island. And then we uh, go up over the railroad tracks to Beacon Hill. Okay, then we come down and we can go to uh, Royal Brom Way for the, where the old ramps that went nowhere were mm -hmm. and serve the sports areas. Then we go to Madison Spring Street uh, for the access up to the hills to the hospitals. And then we keep on going over here to, uh, to, uh, through the Batter Street and uh, assume a tunnel under Wall Street uh, parallel to it and go into Aurora, a depressed, improved uh, Aurora. And if you go straight ahead, you go on Western Avenue all the way up to Magnolia. Uh, there, I don't know of any place else in the I-5, uh, excuse me, in the uh, hourglass figure of Seattle that you can put 10 lanes and get access to all those local, uh, you know, origins and destinations. Okay, now let's get back to it. As we were saying, we'll go back to talking about the tunnel. The tunnel is for interstate. The tunnel right. under the Lake Washington. This is to the, this would probably fulfill the new department in the Federal Highway Administration trying to get local traffic off of I-5. So we're really talking about 